Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. We're on lesson 33 and we're going to be discussing explicit interface implementation. So let's go ahead and just say we want to create a new interface, right? Or maybe maybe another programmer creates an interface and maybe it's called iReadable. So we'll just go ahead and remove this, remove this, and we'll add, we'll, we'll make file implement the iReadable interface. And now you probably already realize what's happening here. We have a read method here, and we have the read method here. And when we run this, it'll actually work. Uh, we won't get any problems. But how do we explicitly state uh, which read to use? So what we need to do, we remove public, iStorable.read, and then we'll do reading and I'll just copy this I readable change this okay now if we go down to uh, you know part of the program which we looked at last lesson this will actually work and the reason it works, reading iStorable, reading iStorable, is that the way to use these explicit um, interface implementations is that you have to cast them. So we have one, uh, let's see here, we have one here, and we're using my storable down here. So I could do the same thing if we wanted to cast uh, uh, my readable, I could just simply change this to iReadable and go ahead and go it that way. Obviously, um, the write wouldn't work because we only have read and iReadable, but that's really the gist of it. Um, you don't, um, you know, you don't have them, you don't declare them public or anything like that because they're implicitly public and you can't actually declare them to be abstract, virtual, overridden, any of that stuff. So um, that's pretty much it. That's just how you solve you know, multiple interfaces with the same, uh, same method. Uh, if you have any questions, please go to www.nextrtv and join the developer community where all, the, uh, all of us share, you know, and ask questions on this stuff. And if you have any questions, let us know. If not, we'll see you for the next lesson. Thanks, guys.